as a single parent, I assume that you have been doing some dating. Uh, you've been divorced for some time. Yes, I have dated. There, there are people out there that can't deal with it. And I can't deal with them. I guess I've still got to overcome that. But there are a lot of people that accept people the way they are. You know, that, that, that's not a difference to them. And there's people who try to pamper you also and wait on you hand and foot. And that, I try not to hold against a person, but I start off from the first. Now let me do for myself. I'm only as handicapped as you let me be. And that works out. They catch their self trying to do for me. And I catch myself sometimes leaning on them. But when there's something I need to do, I'll tell them, wait, I've got to do this for myself. But don't stop being a gentleman. I do still like my door opened every now and then. So. so in a sense, it's up to us to set the boundaries yes. and make people feel comfortable with yes, us. Yes, because they're, they're as uncomfortable being around an amputee as an amputee is uncomfortable being around someone else. And when you let them know that you're comfortable, then it's easier for them to get comfortable with the situation and deal with it. So in a sense, it, we share the responsibility yeah. for our own comfort. Yes. When you left the hospital, how did you think that this uh, amputation was going to affect the rest of your life? Well, at first I really wasn't sure. I had thoughts like, I'm going to have to be babysitted. I'm never going to have those private special moments with my kids. Someone's always going to be there, you know. I could think of a nurse. And I got home, and my parents, they really, they was the nurse. <laughs> they was handing everything to me. Don't move. Don't get up. Oh, I'll get that. And that scared me. I thought, wait a minute, I can't deal with this. I've got to try to get back as close to what I had as I can, as to living by myself, being independent, taking care of my children, because I am a single parent, and I knew I had to be there for them. So then when I got home, I attempted to cook. Of course, I went slowly at everything, because I was still pretty much scared, and, but I think I was more stubborn than scared. <laughs> and I'd get up, and I'd go to the kitchen, and. I'd try like something easy, scramble an egg, and hey, I can do this. I'm doing this. And my kids would be saying, my first good laugh out of all of it was, Kenny, we're not going to starve. Mama can cook. <laughs> and we sit down and we ate. And it was a big thrill to know if I can do this, then what's next? And every day you learn different ways of doing things and learn that you can still do a lot of things that you used to do. Of course, I'm probably never going to be a baller, what am I trying to say? Ballerina. Ballerina, yeah. But I'm happy. You weren't a ballerina I'm, to start no, with, were you? I'm still facing a lot of things that I've got to learn a different way to do. But I'm going to have success, and I'm going to do it. But you have successfully lived alone yes, and taken care of your family. For two and a half years. We've accepted different ways of living, but we're still just as happy living as we were. We just go about things a little different. Of course, it takes us a lot longer now to get ready to leave the house, but we do. We get out and we go pretty much anywhere we want to. So that life does still look like it, it is a, a thing to be enjoyed in the future. Yes. It's, it's really, some, in some ways, it's more enjoyable now because there's more of a challenge there. And you, well, myself, I enjoy something more if there's a challenge than if it's just handed to me because I feel more of an accomplishment. Well, learning to get along without a limb is certainly an accomplishment. Yes, and it keeps going. It's not something where you reach a limit. Every day, there's something added to it. So in a way, being an amputee is special more than a handicap.